Hi, I'm Mr. Omingyo. I'm going to apply the formula PV is equal to a constant to solve problem. Okay, as, as we recap from the previous video, we learned that the pressure of a gas is inversely proportional to the volume and uh, P times V is equal to a constant. Okay, let's look at this diagram here. Imagine that I have an air bubble at the bottom of a pond. We consider this position 1. Okay, so the pressure that is experienced by this bubble, we call this P1, is actually equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the liquid column here. So P1 is actually equal to atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the liquid. And the bubble here has a volume, we call this V1. So the pressure V1 times V1 is equal to a constant. Okay, now if let's say the bubble rises all the way to the top, the pressure that is experienced by the bubble, okay, we call this position 2, it will be just the atmospheric pressure. As we can see that P2 is less than P1, so V2 must increase such that it is greater than V1. This is according to the relationship that we have found out. As, as P decreases, the volume must increase. Okay, so down here we will have P2, V2 is equal to a constant. Okay, and this bubble should look much bigger. Okay, so with this we can come up with another formula. Since P1, V1 is equal to constant and P2, V2 is equal to the same constant, we can write the formula as P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So let me explain this formula a bit. Basically, it means that the product of the pressure of a gas and the volume of a gas is the same at any point uh, in this body of water. Okay, let's try to apply this question, this formula to a question. Okay, if I'm given that the pressure at position one is equal to two times ten to the power of five pascal, and the volume at position one is ten cm cube, and the pressure at position two is one times ten to the power of five pascal, which is the atmospheric pressure. Uh, what is my volume at position 2? Use the formula P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 So 2 times 10 to the power of 5 times 10 is actually equal to 1 times 10 to the power of 5 times V2 So V2 is equal to 2 times 10 to the power of 5 times 10 divided by 1 times 10 to the power of 5 That will give us 20 cm 